Good morning folks and welcome back to Ellingrat. We have got a little bit of a weather window today, hopefully. Um, what I've done so far this morning, I've got up and I've got the cows and chicken sorted. And what I've also done is I've been cutting some grass already. So what I've done is, I'll just show you, on our map, what I've done is the area up here that we own, so this here, uh, all this area here, we have cut the grass on. So that's all been cut. And what I've done is I've tethered that and windrowed that. And then our areas down here, so this area of grass down here, so this patch just here, uh, that bit, sorry, has all been done as well. So, well, that has been uh, cut and, and tethered, but it hasn't been windrowed yet. So we're now over on this bit, and we're going to get this bit done. Now, weather forecast-wise, we're not looking too bad. It's pretty good drying potential today, um, and then there is chance of rain overnight, but 60%, and then dry again, and then it's back to rain. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so this is our only opportunity really to, to make hay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the fence, there. and we'll get some of this grass cut. I'll just zoom out a little bit. So the plan on this episode is to do or show all the stages. Yeah, that's that one then. Then we'll get this one down. So, like I said, yeah, I want to get, um, I want to show all the stages of grass cutting over this episode. So, whether that rolls in tomorrow as well, uh, it might well do. Um, uh, so we can get the cutting done, then we can get some tedding done, and then we can get the windrow in, and then bailed up finally. So I'm going to have that much grass though, I think we're going to have too many bales in the end. So what I'm going to have to do is some sort of uh, organize it in some sort of way so I may well use a loading wagon as well. The loading we wagon we have is pretty small um, so I have to think of another way of doing it. Uh, we might have to lease something but we'll see how we get on. Our windrow is quite small as well um, so it might be a case that we use something bigger as well for that. But first things first we need to get this grass cut so I'm going to get that done. So I hope everyone's well. I hope everyone's doing doing good. Into the whole homeschooling at the moment with the kids, which is great fun. <laughs> uh, it's definitely a challenge, but. And we have I have three very different children as well, which makes it even more interesting. Zoom in a bit. There you go. There's a lot of grass to cut on this meadow. A lot of grass. So as we make our way around this field, we're just gonna yeah 
get as much much cut as possible. Like I said, the idea is to make hay and if worse comes to the worst and we can't do that, what I'll probably do is collect this up and put it into the silage pit, into the bunkers. Um, I'm going to just collect it up and make more silage, but I really do need to get some hay bales made if I want to make total mix mixed ration. And I would like to get sheep as well, so uh, we definitely need hay for them later in the year. I'm getting quite low on fuel in this tractor actually. We will have to fill up at some point. I had every intention of maybe doing pigs on this this map, but with this geo, if I can't grow corn, uh, it's gonna really affect what I can do. I'll have to only buy pig food, which is a bit rubbish. So I think I just have to stick with the cows and the sheep and chickens. May well increase the uh, chickens, but we'll see how we go. On. next stage really is to get uh, the another piece of land, another field I think. Uh, money's gone up a bit overnight, we uh, did a few contracts again, we did some fertilising contracts uh, tried to clear them out. There was a spray in for weeds as well, there was a contract for that so I had to lease some equipment because I made a mistake and didn't lease the equipment um, through the contract but uh, it didn't cost me that much, so so there is some herbicide down at the stores just now. Yeah, I guess I'll line back up on that. Maybe cut this corner off here, Let's finish this section. So nice for it not to be raining. How long will it last though? That is the question. that section done. So I head back up the field and we'll go and get the rest of this grass cut. Right, I will see you in a short while. We'll get this uh, rest of this field cut and then the next time you see us we'll be doing some tedding. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Fantastic folks, so we are now on to the tedding stage. We have got the field all cut, so I've took the fence back over to the farm. I'm going to give the mowers a bit of a service and a wash. And yeah, once we've got this tedded, then we will get the windrower out and we'll get it all rowed up. So I need to head over to the other side of the field now. Down this way. 
leave it open, it's fine. So what we've got here, this, this tether is the crone um, 11.2 meters so it's nice and big. Uh, I've leased this uh, just because the one we've got is quite small and it would have took a, a long time to get all this done. This is making good short work of it. Not too expensive so may well invest in one of these in the future but literally just so we could speed the process up just now. Did use the other tether on uh, on our other little pasture before, so it's not as if it's not being used. Um, and it will will probably get used again later in the year. So it's not a, a complete waste of money. But having said that, using this is absolutely perfect for these sort of sized pastures oh yeah we're certainly getting there still got this section down here to do and right to the end here but once this is done we can then get onto the windrowing get it all windrowed up and then let Mother Nature do its, do its thing. You can hear the wind, it's still, it is fairly breezy today. Uh, and like I said, the uh, dry and potential has got a plus. So, fingers crossed, we'll get, uh, get this turned into hay and we can get it all gathered up. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, start on the final section, and get this bit done, and yeah, crack on with the next stage. Right, we will see you for the next stage, which is the windrowing. Fantastic folks, so we are on to the next stage, windrowing, and we are getting through this field slowly. I decided just to keep hold of the, the original windrow, I'll just keep with that just for now, it's doing fine. Um, and yeah, we're slowly getting there. Yeah, so yeah, getting through it. So, plan after this bit is we'll obviously go and wait for it all to turn to hay um, but there is a couple of other things I need to get done as well uh, which we'll move on to after this so I need to check on the silage bales see where they're at uh, make sure we'll see uh, how much longer they've got until we can uh, sell them and once we get to that point then we can actually whoop, zoom out a little bit we would there uh, so yeah, once uh, once we can sell them, we can actually look at getting some land bought uh, and another field. And yeah, decide the one I'm going to go for is probably field six. Field six. Let me have a look. Yeah, field. Uh, sorry, we own field six. Field five. This one here. So that's 172. So. Yeah, hopefully we'll have enough money to do that. The other thing I need to do as well, I have accepted a bailing contract 
Um, so that needs to be done. I'm not going to show you that since we're doing so much grass work at the moment anyway. Um, so I'll do that off camera and get that done. So if you see my funds have gone up between now and the next time you see us then that's the reason why I probably have done that contract. So we'll see how we get on. Quite a lot of this field still to do. So we'll get there though. What I have decided to do as well is uh, I'm finding quite hard to keep up with everything at the moment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously I'm recording this episode uh, but what I'll probably do is I'll maybe not record for maybe a week maybe two weeks on this this map I'll still keep my little Norton one going um, but yeah, need a need a bit of a downtime and an escape from from recording. So I'm gonna probably have a break from this map uh, just for a couple of weeks, so I can catch up on a few things. And then what we'll do here, yeah, we'll get back on it. But what I'm probably gonna do, I'm probably gonna maybe skip forward a little bit on this map if uh, if we're gonna get a lot of rain because. Yeah, it's getting to that point where we need to get the harvest done. The big priority was getting this grass turned to hay, so if we can get that done, that'll be fantastic. Uh, and then once that's done, we're just waiting for our crops to grow, really. Like I said, I wanted to buy that piece of land, but there's crops already in there. Uh, we can definitely have a look, see where that supply is with uh, regards to fertilisation and stuff. Um, with, uh, precision farming so I'll need to get that field uh, sampled etc but um, yeah I think the big thing is that here yeah, we've got this, this map to progress a little bit quicker try and get through the season a bit quicker uh, so I might just yeah break it up a little bit more So you probably noticed on the Giants stuff that they're releasing new DLC, Grimmy or Grim, Grim, Grimmer DLC. So looking like we're going to get a, a bunch of potato harvesting stuff. Interesting to know what you guys think about that. I don't know really. I think it's good that they're actually introducing a few more bits of potato harvesting stuff to the game. Uh, so got much I guess um, but yeah whether you think it's a good thing or whether you think it's just a waste of money it's up to you uh, I don't know whether I'll be getting it I'm not sure yet still haven't got all the other DLCs so maybe I'll well just uh, look at those ones instead but yeah Honestly, I don't do a great deal of potatoes on the, any of the maps I play. I quite enjoy it. I just did that one on Little Norton, that big potato harvest on there. But um, yeah, I think yeah, it'll be interesting to see what it's all about anyway. I think there's uh, definitely some stuff that picks the potatoes off the ground, uh, which has been hinted at be ideal for multiplayer. Uh, so might be similar to the thing we've got in the mod hub at the moment where you have to have something run alongside so if you haven't got follow me and you're playing solo then it's not much good but um, yeah we'll see it's a uh, collaboration with the modders as well which is quite cool 
so I haven't seen that since FF17. Yeah, I think they're modern or modern classics pack that is a mod in this this version of the game was a collaboration in DLC in FF17. So, which is quite cool. It's great that they're getting the modders involved. Right, we'll see you in the next stage. See you in a bit. Fantastic. So, next date, uh, it's 10 to 10, and yeah, just sort out the chickens. All our grass got windrowed. I uh, haven't done that contract yet, but the good news was overnight it didn't rain. We had good drying conditions overnight. And if we have a look over here, we have hay, which is absolutely fantastic. If we look at the weather forecast as well, uh, we've got dry weather right up until Friday at the moment. So, yeah, we've locked in there. We're doing all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the cows sorted, get them uh, all taken care of. Uh, what I'm going to do as well is get a water pump put in. So just head into here and oh, wrong menu I'm going to animal pens there it is so I'm going to get this water pump put in don't know why I was all the way over there So uh, hopefully we can get it around here somewhere. That's probably pretty good there. There we go. And that should say water pump now. There we go, water water pump. So that's doing its job. So what we'll do now is we'll get the get it filled up with some more water and then just top it up Oop. there we go and this should mean that they'll never run out at least but it also means I won't have to fill it up as much which means I should have enough in this container each time having said that let's just use it all again so into summer aren't we so leave that there for now clear this out Okay, the store open. Come on. There we go. I'll go and put this over here. So obviously from the last episode we got um got our little container. So what I can do now is get this in here. go and what we'll do is we'll get some TMR and we'll just top up the cows with some food and then that should be them done I mean you're doing well as well by looks of it just quickly check the draw situation yeah doing fine with that So I'll just grab this trailer and get this topped up. There we 
go. Should be able to squeeze past the water carrier. This rigging track is absolutely amazing because of its tight turning and manoeuvrability. It's absolutely perfect for yard work. How are we looking? So that hasn't ticked over yet, but we're okay. 15,000 litres of manure. And yeah, we're at 80%. How are we doing? Have we got, oh, we've got new births on the way. So yeah, there's definitely a few on the way there. Yeah, she's aren't doing anything yet, but that's fine. But yeah, we've got some new calves. Making their way to us eventually, which is cool. So, I'm going to put this away. Back on it. Put the back on it. And then the next job is to get all this hay put in. But it's always going to be a big job, so I think we'll leave that to the next episode. Um, what we do need to do is just get this in here nice and gently. There we go. Squeeze it in there. And then how much manure have I got in this? That's full. Right, so... So in fact... Yeah, we can just leave that there for now. Perfect. And shut that again. And leave the doors open because it's pretty cold. Pretty warm today. Uh, oh, pretty sunny. And we'll just go and get this water topped up, up at the, up at the water tap by the sheep pen. So interestingly enough, even this <laughs> sorry state of uh, affairs, all this <laughs> degraded grass has turned as hay as well so we are going to get a little bit of hay off there which is pretty cool I wasn't expecting anything to be fair and um, so it's quite nice that we have actually got some so next episode is going to be busy 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 getting all this hay in and then yeah we'll be rolling into the latter part of the summer and yeah hopefully we'll get towards harvest time so i'm going to finish the episode there Let me just get this water carrier in position okay i'm going to finish the episode there i hope you enjoyed watching again um more grass grass work but we are in the alps we are making our hay for total mix ration which is great and yeah what we'll probably do with some of these hay bales is sell them uh, or pelletize them into straw uh, hay pellets uh, and sell them because yeah we're going to have a lot of hay so we will see you next time on uh, Earl and Grat like I said it's probably going to be a couple of weeks but yeah we'll get that done and yeah if you enjoyed the video hit that like button if you want to share or comment please do and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet you're more than welcome to we'll see you next time at Earl and Grat for some more fun farming in the Swiss Alps all the best <laughs>